to that old self, yeah. to that old sinful self. But anyway, I done gave y'all that and I even gave you my scripture. Ecclesiastic. Everybody knew that, didn't they? Ecclesiastic 3. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Uh -huh. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Mm -hmm. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to win and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. That's God's word for God's people. Amen. And that's where we're going to be coming from today because you see there is a season for everything under the sun. Amen. There is a purpose under heaven. Yes. And I can say this right now, this is your season. Amen. You know, we all have different seasons that we go through. And it's time for us to wear, and it, it depends on how we weather that season. Because naturally, we have springtime. This is our earliest period. It's a time for sowing seeds. You see, like I told you, I was a farm girl. And we used to plant the seed, and we, and, and we put it in the garden, and we would, uh, you know, fill it, cover it up with dirt. And, and I'm thinking, uh, before I accepted Christ, as my savior, I might have been that seed covered in sin. Mm -hmm. But then, as that seed dies and it starts sprouting, you know, we gotta have a little fertilizer on that seed. And I remember them putting the fertilizer on the seed and and, and, and I, when I think fertilize in my life, that's the word of God. You see, we gotta study the word of God. We gotta read the word of God because we, we done left this life of sin. So how do I do, what do I do to get closer? I done told God, you know, I accept you as my personal savior. I have sin and come short. But I want to do better. Amen. So he tells me, read the word, study the word. So that's what we do. We study and we read the word of God. And as we fertilize our mind, our souls, there's going to come some rain. You see, in order for something to grow, you got to have rain. So that seed that's in the ground, it's done died, but it's been fertilized and it's been rained on. So what is it doing now? It's sprouting each and every day. Like I said before, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. And see, when I say die, we have to die daily. Every day, I feel like we got to get rid of some stuff. Because we're not gonna get it right, all right here on, on earth. Uh -huh. Because we do serve a perfect God, but we are imperfect people. Yeah. But I think I heard Minister Cole say Sunday, you know, we are imperfect people being perfected by God. And that was good. And I said, okay, Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. But so, 
I love Jesus. <laughs> so, um, like I said, we become new in Christ, just like that seed that has died and is now sprouting. But we must be fertilized and we must have some rain because we're going to have trials and tribulation because the summer's coming. And y'all know the summer, you know, things is blooming. Everybody likes the summer. Everything's cool. The kids are out of school. We on vacation. We picnicking. We gardening. We, we just having a good time. Cooking out. But you know what pops up in the summertime? Them old storms. A thunderstorm a pull up on you in a minute. But during our life, we're going to have storms. We got different storms that, uh, that come to us. We, as children of God, we are getting stronger and stronger as that plant is. So when we have summer, you know, we, uh, the crops are in the field, everything's getting right, but, and we get in tune with God. But you know, in the summertime, when that storm pops up out of nowhere, we have storms of life. Mm -hmm. They may be physical, they may be financially, they may be emotional, relational, vocational, and the like. But you know, a cyclone of suffering may move in and attack our health. A hurricane of trouble can overtake us and we don't know what to do next. But I'm here to tell you that God is in the midst of our storms. The storm can make us stronger and give us confidence to handle what life has dealt us. But we must know to look to God during that time, during that storm. You see, he's working it all out for our good. We might not feel it at the time, but the Bible tells us that all things work to the good of them that love the Lord. Amen. I love him. Don't you love him? Yes. Hallelujah. But um, after the summer, we have autumn. That's the season between winter and summer. We call it fall. The leaves are starting to fall and things are starting to get dormant. Though it's a season of decline, but we are getting ready to harvest what we have sowed. Sometimes in, my, in our lives we feel as though uh, God has left us. Don't you feel that way sometimes? You don't hear from God and you wonder, where is God? But I'm reminded that the teacher is always quiet during the test. You know, we will be tested. But God says, I'm here. I haven't left you. Just trust and believe. And that the word we had today, just trust it and believe it. We will get through anything that we feel like we're going through. But are you passing the test? God's process always has a purpose. Just because it might not happen today or when we think it should, that does not mean that God is not working things out for our good. We have got to rely on God's timing. And we can't rush God's timing because he's always on time. Now, here comes the last season of winter. That's the cold season. Things done gone dormant, they done, they done died. The sap is down on the trees, but at this time, we can rethink, we can refurbish, we can revive, we can re-aim, we can re reunite, we can reconnect. This is time to get ourselves together. What do you think those trees are doing? They're not dead. They're not dead. They may look 
believes the dog. They frown and just ugly sometimes. But I feel like they're in a rest mode. You know, their, their roots are getting deeper and deeper. And so we must get deeper and deeper in God, no matter the storms of life that is given to us. We have to continue to read, study, to show ourselves approved. We gotta make sure that we are passing the test because we will have tests. And with every season, you know, things, it's different. But we will have pain. God told Eve she was gonna have pain in chapel. But you, us ladies, we know the pain that we have during childbirth, but when we put that baby in our arms, all that pain is forgotten. So he didn't tell us it was gonna be easy. He didn't. But he told us to do what? Trust in him. Believe in him. During these seasons of life, He's all we need. When you say he's all I got, well, he, he's all I need. I don't, I don't need nothing else. Long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nothing else. And I can't depend on anybody else to get me through these storms of life. I have a great husband, but he, he can't help me like my son, my, my friend Jesus. He can't do it like he does it. He tries his best to protect me and take care of me, and, and he does a good job. But you know what? This is a spiritual walk. And God is a spirit. And you can't live this life naturally because the word said he is a spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So, you know, what we see might not be what all it is. You know, we see what's in front of us, but we don't know what's behind us. But you know who does? God knows all about it. He knows everything about us. He knows what we're going to go through. It's just up to us to trust and to believe and to go through the storm with him. Okay, so because the rain is going to come, I'm here to tell you, it's going to come. Some way, somehow, you're going to encounter something. It could be a heart attack. It could be diabetes. It could be cancer. Only God can do what God does. Yes, he gives us the mindset to go to the doctors, and we go to the doctors, and the doctors give us this, and the doctors give us that. The doctors even operate on us. But God has the healing touch. And we gotta trust him that he is the one that is gonna see us through. He's the one that's guided those doctors in the first place. He gave the doctors the knowledge. They didn't get there on their own. God's grace and his mercy, he endures to everybody, everybody. We just have to ask. But during the storm, when the storms are raging, and they will rage, we must hold our anchor deep in Jesus. Jesus is our anchor. And it's going to rain as long as Jesus is raining over our lives. We're going to be all right. God's going to see us through. God intends for us to change. He allows these seasons in our lives. But we must trust and go through the process. Have you been holding on to a promise from God? Everything in our lives must be in sequence with God's predetermined time so we can be effective and fruitful. But we must know that some of these promises would come with pain 
To realize God's promises in our lives, we must set ourselves to God's best. His rhythm, his order, his structure, his timing for our lives. If we miss the timing by moving too fast, sometimes we might move too slow. Procrastination is, is, is no good. But when we fall out of step, We are, well, when we think we can do it, sometimes we think we can, I got this, I can do this, or I can go to Pastor Smith and he's gonna help me with this situation. Or I can go to uh, Mr. Farmer and he's gonna help me with this situation. But it's God and his timing. We try to rush things. We say, well, you know, I'm gonna make it happen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not going to happen until God says it's going to happen. You might go through the motion and think you got it, but uh -uh. you're going to have a you're going to you're going to have some obstacles, some turns, some crooks, and turns and rocks and all that stuff. You're going to have you're going to face it, but God is able. He is able. We just have to wait on him because what he is doing in our lives is all a matter of his timing. So, you know, the songwriter says, this is your season for grace, for favor. This is your season to reap what you have sown. But you see, God is, every season is not fun. But God is still in the midst. But we're going to go through seasons to get where God wants us to be. You see, as we're going through those seasons, we're getting stronger and stronger because we're reading and studying the Word. We're coming together and we're enjoying each other's company. And we're waiting on God to do what God does best in our lives because. If God ain't in it, I don't want no part of it. I don't. But I didn't always think that way. I always, sometimes I thought, you know, well, I can get this and I can get that, but mm -mm. Mm -mm. you're gonna struggle. You're gonna have to rock Paul to pay Peter. Mm. Because God ain't in the timing. You got to wait on God. And when you wait on God, he makes it, his, his blessing doesn't add sorrow. That's how you know it's of God. You don't have to struggle. It's, it's happening. And it blows your mind. Wow. That was only God that could have done that. Wow. That was only God that could have healed my body mm, and told me to run on. That was God mm, that said, you shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Because I know a lot of you know I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor. I tell you what. To God be the glory. That first time, you know, I was thinking, okay, we're good. God got this. And then seven years later, he came back. I said, oh, devil, you are lying. The truth ain't in you. Because the devil's planted in my mind, okay, you, you're going out this time. You ain't going to make it this time. But that's been, ah. Uh, Mm -hmm. 23 years. 23 years. I have been cancer free. And it might hit me tomorrow, I don't know. But if it does, I'm trusting God. And if I don't get healed on this side, because that's what I told him when I was first diagnosed, I said, God, let your will be done. Not my will. But let your will be done. If I'm to be healed on this side, 
then you will do it. But if not, I'm ready to go. I offer up my body, a living sacrifice. I'm not perfect. I'm ready to die. I'm not ready to leave this yet. But I am ready to go. Because I know he's gone on to fix a mansion just for me. And you know what? One of these days, we're gonna, I'm going to get there. We all want to get there. But we got to go through these seasons in our lives. And we can't get weary in our well-doing. We got to walk by faith and not by sight. Because the Bible tells us that if we, mm, if we walk by faith, if we do not grow weary in our well-doing, we're going to reap if we faint not. We're going to reap if we faint not. Have a heart, y'all. Heart for God. Know that it's for God that we live and it's for God we serve. But uh, I just want to encourage you all to wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Wait, I say, on the Lord. He'll do it every time. In my closing, I see this. One of my sisters had it on uh, Facebook, and uh, I thought I'd share this tonight. Sister Si, I think I saw it on, on your page. But it said, let go and let God. Let go of your problems and let God handle them. Let go of your hurt and let God heal you. Let go of your fear and let God sustain you. Let go of your worries and let God bless you. Hallelujah. know that after you've done all, just stand. Stand for God. Stand for righteousness. Stand for the Almighty God. Now there might be someone here who don't know Jesus as their personal Savior. They might want to have a relationship with Him so He can carry them through that storm. If there is, I invite you to my friend named Jesus. I invite you to just let your life be put in his hands. Is there anyone that might be black stars? He said he's married to us. You know, we all ain't being what we are right now. But God is faithful. He is faithful. And he is willing and able to see us through. So is there anyone that have not given their life to Christ? I want to renew their relationship with Christ. If not, I've done what God has asked me to do. That's by today's message and have decided to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, or you want to be reconciled in your relationship with the Lord, please feel free to contact us by either sending a message through Facebook or going to our website, firstwalltown.org. You will find contact information on the link in the upper right-hand corner. Be blessed.